next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. of everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, the Flash. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out there. striker is and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the UFC well perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there nice kick landed by this gentleman oh nice land there with the punch you see he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach well he continues to find the openings tonight beautiful connection with the punch there accuracy at its best big liver kick lands under the elbow right hand landed Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. <laughs> Able to check the high kick. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Oh, that's a nice strike. He's 
throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Hands up, hands up. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Lee. Two minutes have gone by here, round one. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Right hand upstairs. Oh, a huge block there. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Back and forth we go! Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. By him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, looked like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Give me that inside kick the leg. 15 seconds. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? 10 seconds to go. Look at the good action that comes from this one. Let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if it, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. You ready? You ready? Let's All right, go. second round underway. There's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching down to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. Then you're in a lot of trouble. That one snuck in. Nice strike. 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations here. It's because he's not committing to his bully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Leg kick. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Big head kick lands. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Big ball for punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Just missing on the high kick there. the kick and they separate well his corner was pretty urgent after round one little bit lackluster there in that opening round he has certainly picked up the pace here and as a result he has taken control of this second round good punch oh big head kick Right hand is on point. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Over and over, he's landed a big body kick. And they separate. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Nice loop and punch. Try to establish that jab. Nice head kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice kick. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. Oh, nice right hand. Now connects with a right. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Missed with that attempt. strikes he is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on got to be careful here though not to gas out some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks that one was checked oh it's a beautiful kick right there i don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule probably feel something like that it has to this guy is landing his kick with so much force Twenty seconds to go, round two. Big punch land. Ooh, Lee gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. And there comes the separation now. Overhand left. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Ten minutes in the books. Great work. You won that last round. This round, you want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches. Use your knees. All right, what a round it was for him. A lot of head kicks landed, scrambled eggs on the other side. We'll see if he can recover. He does a great job of hiding it. He gives you no tell. He doesn't show you when he's coming.
That's why those kicks have continued to land, even though he's done it multiple times. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked Ready. about his powerful kicks, Ready. how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him today. That was so impressive to see. Some see. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness. You can even be on your feet right now. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Well, we talked about that reach. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, straight right. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Straight right hand, no good. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. Oh, he hurt it bad with a jab. Blocks the shot. Keep your hands up. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Great punch. Don't stop. Don't stop. Come on. Able to check that kick as well. Right punch is good. The left also flush. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Look at him driving his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Lee's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds.
Seconds winding down in round three. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Entertaining scrap so far. All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Right under the elbow, the body keep playing. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Misses with that punch. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. Nice knee to the body, just what he needed there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, big head kick there. Shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stay up for it. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Throws the right hand there. Nice job by him there as he continues to keep his opponent to the outside. He told us in our fighter meeting on Thursday, I have to control the center of the octagon. So far, so good. Oh, he's doing a great job. His opponent back is always facing the cage. He's always the one in the center. Whether it's in the clinch, whether it's in the middle of the octagon, he is the one always leading the dance. Opponent goes right, he just takes a big step right. Opponent goes left, he takes a big step left. Never gives him an out as he's trying to escape. Oh, big punch land. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. There's no give on that leg kick. Connect with the right. Big kick land. Wow, he lands another leg kick. dividends for him there. Now of round four. Caught that kick there. 
There's no tell on that leg kick. Whiffs on that offering. Real sneaky body kick. Lands with the right hand. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. Not every day you see a fight end due to a body kick like that. He used a lot of body work to slow down his opponent. Once his opponent slowed down, he was able to really impose his will on him and get the finish in such a high-profile fight. So a big win for him here tonight and an even bigger statement made by virtue of the TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliante has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 28 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, there he is, the man of the hour, and you got to think this dude's going to get a serious Instagram push tonight after the win by TK. Oh, he's going to get a massive push because he hurt his opponent he and he fight. pressed his foot down in the gas until he got that finish. That was amazing. Oh, couple left me out to dry. I had to crucify. Stab me in my back. You ain't my dog. You getting used to